So, reflections are light rays bouncing off the surface of an object, much in the same way as this ball bounces off the cushions of the table. Now, look at this. Where do you think this ball is coming from? Seems simple enough. The ball must be coming in a straight line from where Boffin is sitting. Well, in fact, you were watching a reflection of the ball, and the ball originally came from me, and I'm here on the other side of this two-way mirror to Boffin. The two-way mirror allows you to see through it and see a reflection at the same time. As the ball moved towards the mirror, all the light information from the reflection reaching your eyes made you think that it was coming from a position behind the mirror. If you think of the ball's path as light rays coming from me, they reflect. But if we draw them back to where they appear to come from... This is why a reflection seems to be behind the mirror. The eye is seeing reflected light. And as light travels in a straight line, the light appears to come from behind the mirror. And where it appears to come from is called the image. Now, I know I'm not really back here. It's just where I appear to be. You can have even more fun with two reflecting surfaces. By having another mirror at right angles, you can see three images of the ball. Decrease the angle between the mirrors, even more images. The smaller the angle between them, the more reflections there are. And that's why there are so many images of the ball. Each time the light reflects, another image is produced. And if they face each other, there's an infinite number of reflections.